Well, it's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week. And this week, we came out to the country in Cleburne for a place known for big old steaks. We're at the Fly-By-Night Cattle Company. When it comes to home cooking, being out in the country is a good place to find some. And just northwest of Cleburne, you'll find a beef bistro, fittingly located at the end of the Chisholm Trail called the Fly-By-Night Cattle Company. It's a pretty unique place. Food is excellent. It's what's for dinner, you know. <laughs> Jennifer Kraft and her husband Bill opened this family restaurant on Bill's family land back in 2003. And when it came to opening their first venture in the service industry, they really stuck their necks out. When we got married, Bill was in the dairy business, then went from that to raising ostriches. <laughs> it's the most random thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yes. Had no clue how to do that at all, and so we started a catering business, and here we are kind of, we've done that over 25 years. And it's easier to deal with than ostriches, right? Yeah, well, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Bill is about as Texan as they come, and he's not shy about showing it. The steak cooking gun token, Bill. Bull. I, guess, I, oh, I guess so, I don't know about all that. But... <laughs> and look, he's bashful too, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you caught me in a bashful moment, huh? <laughs> Your husband definitely seems like uh, quite the character over there. He can be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not too often we walk into restaurants and see tall cowboys with uh, open carries going on. Yeah, yeah. He gets quite a few comments on that. Some haven't been very favorable. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Not a, just a few. He wants to protect the people that are here, I guess. I get a lot of reactions from the customers, but, you know, it's all nearly all positive. I mean, it, they, a lot of people like it. I mean, sure. they just like the fact that they don't have to worry about it. Everybody's got one in their car. Sure. Uh, it's, just, it's just unusual to have one on your hip. <laughs> it's Texas, and we got a right to do it. That's another reason we're nice. <laughs> and everybody pays their bills. <laughs> now, when it comes to opening an eatery, people always say, location, location, location. Well, that didn't really translate when opening a steakhouse out in the middle of the country. It's hard when you're out courting everybody in the middle of nowhere. But their reputation for really good beef has become their calling card, bringing hungry meat eaters from well beyond Cleburne. Lord, I have seen people come as far as Oklahoma. You can get steaks in a lot of places, but you can't get this, you can't get this atmosphere. That ranch feeling includes a couple of horses that are very used to human interaction. Uh, we kind of made this area here where the horses can come up here because people get a kick out petting horses. Sure. Oh. oh! Look at that, he knew right away. <laughs> he been talking to you. Yeah. I can see why you call him Hoss, holy moly. The long faces are very fond of the friendly folks they get to see on a daily basis. <laughs> oh, he's like, hey, get hey out of you're, my getting, way. you're getting all the tension. <laughs> yeah, give me. I said, I want some of that. <laughs> well, it's beautiful out here. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. We've been out here, like I say, for a long time. What are you more proud of, the views or the steaks? I'm proud of both. You. I'm not going to take one side or the other on this thing. <laughs> Bill took us to the back to cook up the burgundy tenderloin. Hey, I right. feel like every time I say burgundy, I'll be like, burgundy? You know, like Ron. Oh yeah, okay. On to the steak, but don't expect to hear every little detail. Well, I don't want to give all that away. Okay, it's a secret. Yeah, all right. So right. Kyle's gonna get out the steak. And that's your tenderloin? Yeah. All right. The tenderloin gets flame kissed till it's the recommended medium rare. Anything over a medium rare is just assassination. Yeah, you're gonna ruin it. This is something Bill is very passionate about. What I ought to put on the steak uh, on that menu is if we serve it medium rare, you don't like it, hit the gate. You know, I mean, get some chicken. Go get some chicken. <laughs> we get so many come in here, and they'll get that small tenderloin, and they want it well done. That damn thing ain't nothing but a piece of charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> Lay down on a mashed potato and asparagus bed. The steak is topped with burgundy sauce, onion strings, blue cheese crumbles, and of course, a Texas flag. Well, it's ready to go out the door right now. All and right. I guess, I think you're eating it. Yes, sir. That's what I figured. I'm all for the burgundy tenderloin. Okay. Thank you, Bill. All right, thank Appreciate you. It. <laughs> So here we are at the Fly-By Night Cattle Company with our filet in front of our face, the burgundy tenderloin covered in the burgundy sauce, blue cheese, onion strings, with a little garlic mashed potatoes and asparagus. And we can't forget the cowboy corn and the fried okra. Now this is not your typical fried okra, not in pieces, but big, long, 
halves. Very interesting. Lightly fried, not like your typical pieces. Absolutely delicious. The cream corn? And immediately you get that flavor of the jalapeno in there and that cream sauce. That is excellent. And finally, the steak. And of course, they give you a little extra burgundy sauce in case you have to keep it classy. No, that's a steak. Oh, Lord of mercy. The boldness of the blue cheese mixing in with the bitterness of that burgundy sauce just makes for a big old flavor. I mean, it's hard to beat just a real steak. Oh, fantastic. Well, if you're ever looking for a unique steak and you're out near Cleburne, Texas, come into the Fly-By-Night Cattle Company is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. This is Texas. This is the way it is, out on the ranch, enjoying uh, good food, good company, good people. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.